I was thinking back to November 16th, 2021, and that marked really a change in America. Can you tell me what happened on that day, who you met, and what you all talked about? Uh, yeah, that, that was a remarkable day for me. I met Mr. Michael Regan, <clears throat> the newly appointed director of the Environmental Protection Agency. And uh, we talked about the plight of the people in my community and in Cancer Alley uh, and about uh, some of the ways that we might sort of uh, try to uh, bring some relief to the people in our community. Now, you met him. He actually came to Cancer Alley. What street did you and he talk about? You wore a shirt that day that said, only 0.2 will do in red. What does 0.2 mean to you? Well, <clears throat> 0.2 was the level of uh, chloroprene that was uh, should be allowed in the air, in the environment, uh, 0.2 micrograms per cubic liter of air, which is such an inefficient of infinitesimal amount that is hard for people to understand it. Even though that is a very low level, that is not the original level that EPA proposed. They actually proposed 0 0.002, which the Danka people resisted that. And, and uh, EPA compromised with them and, let, and allowed them to increase it a couple of magnitudes. It is such a toxic uh, chemical that uh, even the one that they settled on is far above the original one that they considered to be a safe level. And David, if I might add to that, during the struggles, uh, um, the head of our Louisiana Department of Health uh, said to us that there is no safe level of human exposure. And he said to us that uh, there was no safe level, in his opinion, from his experience, that there's no such thing as a safe level of exposure for humans to that particular chemical.